I'm just gonna start off by saying I am so sorry for lying. So you guys know how I'm I'm single now? Well, single times call for single measures. So my friend and I decided to go to the club for the first time. The bar. Anyway, we also decided that night that we were going to go by two fake names and live an entire fake life. She was Emma and I was Claire. So I'm dancing around having a grand old time at this club. And this guy walks up to me and he goes, hi, my name is. To which I say, hello, my name's Claire. He's like, oh, should I get an accent? I then tell this man that I'm only visiting Florida. I'm actually from a small island called Mako and I live there with my three best friends. This boy then tells me that he's a doctor. A doctor! And he owns some big medical clinic. So I'm like, alright, now I'm too far in. I gotta keep lying, because this guy might be rich. Kidding. Man tells me his whole life story. Deep stuff. And now I feel bad, because I'm telling him all these lies. So then he's like, oh, well, why did you choose makeup? And I'm like, but one time my friends and I were hiking on this mountain, and we went to this pool, and like, I just felt like the moon was calling me there. I just felt like I needed to be there. He's like, oh, that's beautiful. He's like, wow, you seem like such a deep, loving person. We actually just opened up a medical clinic in Cancun, and I think we're actually about to open one on Mako, too. I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing, that's incredible. So then this guy offers to buy me a drink, and I had to keep playing the role. Um, as much as I would totally love for you to do that for me, I actually can't touch water. He's like, oh, why? It's actually a secret, I can't tell you. I can't tell you here. The whole night, I proceeded to tell him about how I swam with dolphins, I saved people drowning in the ocean, and just as I was about to tell him that I was a mermaid, he got a phone call. And he had to leave the club. But that's not the point. The point is, I just went to Starbucks this morning. Pull up to order myself an ice caramel macchiato grande. Get to the window. Bruh, guess who's at the freaking window? The doctor. The doctor. And guess who pulled up at the window with our stupid Australian accent? Me. When I tell you we both did this. Silence, bro. Silence. I didn't know how to act. I didn't know if I was in love because he was also lying that whole night or if I should be offended because I was lied to with my own type of joke. I don't know what that was, but it might have been my husband.